Hello, I'm still Bob Mankoff, cartoon editor of the New Yorker magazine. And unless you've had your identity stolen, you're still you. Welcome to the Cartoon Lounge. Well, this week is the tech issue, and as you can see, I've got issues with technology. First generation Kindle doesn't work anymore. These do, don't use them. Don't use this guy, yeah, still operational. Just got the iPhone 6 Plus. Of course, the latest thing I don't need, Google Glass. Perfect. And a GoPro camera recording the people who are recording me. I usually hold on to this equipment, but, you know, check me out on eBay. You never know. Okay, so as befits the technology issue, we have a technology cartoon by Drew Dernovich here, which is, guy is getting a desk, a new desk. The caption is, you're getting a legendary desk. Some of these cords go back six, seven managers ago. We always inherit this technology, but we're also inheriting all the baggage with it. This cartoon <laughs> makes me think of a quote I really like at the end of The Great Gatsby. So we beat on boats against the current, borne back ceaselessly into the past. That's what I feel about these cords. The cords, you know, link us back to all the problems we have with technology. I mean, cords are sort of like ex-wives and husbands, aren't they? We never get rid of them. My interest in technology and the cartoons I've done about it actually goes back quite a way. I did a cartoon in 1979 in which computers at that time were these spinning tape drives. And so the guy is walking down, he opens up one of the compartments and inside is a refrigerator. He takes out a sandwich and eats it. And I think the sort of cartoon that completely symbolizes my relationship with technology, I did in 1984 with the New Yorker. There's a guy at an electronics store full of all electronic and video equipment. And he's saying, uh, all my gadgets are old. I'd like some new gadgets. I'd always like some new gadgets. Please send me a new gadget. Here's a question I get an awful lot. I'm an enthusiastic New Yorker reader, and the caption contest often tempts me. But I see the headlines that we here in Quebec, Canada, cannot enter. Can you explain to me why not? The answer to me is pretty obvious. If we let people from Quebec enter the caption contest, they're just much too funny. Besides, you would submit the captions in French, and we wouldn't be able to get them. Okay, you want a serious answer? You're gonna get a serious answer. A very serious answer from our lawyer. So the actual explanation is that uh, there are particular rules in Quebec for running a contest there, including having to translate everything into French, um, all our contest rules and each invitation to participate in the contest, as well as having the contest registered in Quebec uh, by a Canadian lawyer. Now you know.